He's ready to see you now. Thank you. Thanks for coming in today. Really appreciate you sending in your CV. No problem. It was funny. Oh, really? Was it my intention, but... Great. Our current situation is unusual in that we don't have many... any women working here, mainly due to the... Sexual harassment case? Sexual harassment case, yes. Are, are you alright? Yeah, sorry. This is a bit hot and random, the station. Um, I'm, I'm really excited. Water? I, no, that's alright. Actually, yeah, that'd be great, thank you. <laughs> So we're looking for someone who can handle themselves in a competitive environment. It'll be mainly filing, but we have some pretty good filers, so, yeah. It also involves updating the website and throwing up an occasional twit. It says here that you've done something similar before at the cafe that you used to... Uh, okay, I'm... I'm sorry, that, that won't get you very far here anymore. No, I'm sorry, I, I, I really thought I had a top on underneath. Yep. Okay, well, for the <laughs> uh, No, really, this time, genuine accident. Look, with our history here, I understand how you might have thought... Look, I wasn't trying to... Jesus, I was hot. I take this kind of thing very seriously now. Well, I wasn't trying to fucking shag you. God, look at yourself. <laughs> okay, please leave. Wait, no, you don't understand. I really need please this... Please just leave. Slut. Wow! Please leave. You please leave. It's my office. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Wait. Three nights ago, I ordered myself a very slutty pizza. I mean, the bitch was dripping. <laughs> that dirty little stuffed crust wanted to be in me so bad. And I just, I ate the little tart like she meant nothing to me and she fucking loved it. <laughs> so that, nailed that and I was pretty tired so I went upstairs into my office at my bed and I started to look at the numbers for the cafe. I run a guinea pig themed cafe but it's out of cash and it's going to close unless a check falls from the sky or a banker comes on my ass. But I don't really want to dignify the banker man with a proper mention, so I'm not really going to talk about him. Or the fact that I wish I could sometimes just admit that I don't have any morals and just let the banker man come on my ass for £10,000. <laughs> but apparently, we're not supposed to do that. So I won't. Even though it would solve everything, I won't. Even though I could. <laughs> anyway, I'm lying there and I'm thinking about the numbers and they start jumping out at me like little ninjas. So I rationalise that it'd be a good idea to just switch off for a minute, like improve my mind. So I start watching this film, it's called Seventeen again, with Zac Efron, who is fit, I know. <laughs> actually, no, he's a really good actor. Yeah, it's a pretty decent movie, actually. Check it out. So anyway, I do that, I'm thinking, I've got numbers, numbers, Zach, numbers, Zach. I Google Obama to keep up with, you know, who actually, as it turns out, is also very attractive. So I'm thinking, you know, numbers, numbers, Zach, Numbers, numbers, Obama, numbers, Obama, and Zach, and suddenly I'm on you porn having a horrible wank. I mean, I found like just the right kind of gangbang, so that pretty much knocked me out. So I leaned over, kissed my boyfriend Harry goodnight, and, was like, <laughs> well, and then I woke up in the morning, and I have a note on my pillow from Harry that says that was the last straw, which was out of the blue because I didn't realise he had been counting straws. <laughs> Nice to know that he was paying attention. You know. Everything in the flat was gone. And everything in the fridge. Like, I almost admired his selfishness. Yeah. I almost fancied him again. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it was, it was good. I was glad that one of us decided to do something about it. He was the kind of guy that would look at me and say things like, you know, you're not like other girls. You can keep up. Keep up. <laughs> so, I'm stood, staring at this handprint on my wall from when I had a threesome on my period. <laughs> Me and Harry break up every 12 to 18 weeks, and when we do, well... I mean, I wish I could tell you that my threesome story was, was sticky and, and awkward, and that we all went home feeling a little bit empty inside, but... It was lovely. <laughs> you know, I admire the amount of commitment Harry puts into our breakups. I mean, the fridge was in new detail, but he has always gone above and beyond. I mean, one time he even cleaned the entire flat, like it was a crime scene. <laughs> I've often considered timing a breakup around when the flat needs a good cleaning, but I never really know what's going to set him off. It keeps me on the toes. So, 
I sit on the loo and I think about all of the people that I can have sex with now. I'm not obsessed with sex, I just, I, I just can't stop thinking about it. <laughs> like the performance of it, the awkwardness of it, the drama of it, that moment when you know somebody wants your body. I mean, not so much the feeling of it. I've got about a week until Harry comes back. So better get on it. Okay, into the bathroom, shower, boom, done, bedroom, doing my makeup, boom, done. I spend like half an hour trying to look good and I end up looking fucking amazing. Mm. <laughs> I mean like, one of those days, best in ages. Like, fresh face, boom, gorgeous, wearing a skirt, wearing high heels, sexy new little top on my way to save my cafe. And yes, I'm strutting. Mm. So I see this guy from across the street, right, and he's looking at me and he just can't take his eyes off me. And I'm all walking like I've got a paintbrush up my ass, like, yeah, check it out, it's never gonna happen, chub chub. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I open the cafe with my friend Boo, and she's dead now. Uh, she accidentally killed herself. It wasn't that she wasn't trying to, it's just she didn't mean to die. Sort of like, she found out that someone else had slept with a boyfriend, and she wanted to punish him by winding up in the hospital for a week and not letting him see her. You know, she was going to run into a busy cycle lane, get tangled up with the bike, break a finger, maybe. But as it turns out, bikes can go really fast and, and flip you into the road. So three people died that day. Gosh, she was such a dick. <laughs> you know, I never told her parents the truth. I told her boyfriend and he cried a lot. Oh, Chub Chub's getting closer. <laughs> All right. I mean, he's like staring me down like he can't take his eyes off me, as if he can't believe how attractive I am. I mean, I'm afraid I'm going to turn the guy into a sex offender. But here we go. Oh, he's going to say something. All right, he's coming closer, he's getting closer. This ought to be fucking good. He's passing, he's passing. He's got his hand right up to his mouth and he goes, walk of shame. Like, it's too late to go home and change, man. <laughs> Plus, I've got flat shoes in my bag. And anyway, he's fat and he can't take that off at night. Yeah. <laughs>